breast cancer rehabilitation. I've just come back from the Australian Lymphology Conference in New Zealand where I presented a poster on auxiliary cording assessments and implications for treatment. And what I would like to do is share that information with you. So first of all, the poster is now available for sale on the internet. And what I've done is I've designed it so it's a, a one-stop training poster or, or point of information where you can find out about two different kinds of assessments for cording. So the first test is abduction test and it's got a little twist on it so it's not just abduction. The second test is reach out the back test and both of these tests are discussed and photos about how to do it. And then we go through the best positions for the patient. So which position do we put the patient in that makes it easier for us as clinicians to assess cording and easy for the patient. Finally, I show you via photos the best way to use your hands to work out what's going on with the cording. And that helps to determine where the treatment is. So the poster is now available for sale on the internet and I look forward to your feedback and look forward to developing a better assessment for cording so that we can treat the, the cording for as long as it's there. On the treatment, uh, I'm just going to remind you about our Share Cording Protocols project for 2014 and it is on this website and or on the YouTube. So that project is already up and running and so we've got um, three, three protocols there where clinicians from around the world are sharing information about how they treat cording. So this project is open for therapists who want to share their information about how to help women recover after their breast cancer cording episode and also for therapists that do not know as much about it or for the breast care nurses and doctors. It's, a, it's designed to be able to share visual information so we can increase the information out to the public and out to the health professionals about what cording is. And more importantly, how simple it is to treat it and get some good outcomes and help women recover after their breast cancer treatment.